Hi, you guys. Welcome to Learning Hub DBDB program, a collab with AUI, American University of Yangon. I'm your host, Theo. And we got Zue as well. Hello, everyone. Have a good day. And yes, you are now listening to MI Radio's Learning Hub program. And as always, we got special guests from American University of Yangon. Once again, Philip and Jun. Hey, guys. Hey. Hello. All right. So we are today's. To- I'm, I'm trying not to laugh okay. because today's topic <laughs> is a very divided. Topic. Okay, what are we going to be so chatting about today? So some people believe in it, some people don't believe in it. We're going to okay. be talking about the Meyer Briggs Type Indicator, or AKA MBTI. MBTI. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, what's that? So the I have Meyer- no knowledge about that. <laughs> I know <laughs> <laughs> the way you've been complaining to me now. Okay. The Meyer Briggs Type Indicator. It's it's a theory. It's a quiz. Okay. That sorts people into sixteen groups based mm-hmm. on how they lean in four areas, or should I say four categories? So mm-hmm. are you more introvert or extroverted? Do you focus on small details or the big picture? Do you make decisions with logic or your intuitive feeling, or do you prefer mm. structure or going with the flow? So your outcome. Is a four-letter uh, label such as like ENFP or ISTJ yeah. showing your personality style, and I'm guessing I lost you, mm. guys. <laughs> lost one because so, you were just like. <laughs> so what are you? Yeah. I'm just. <laughs> you <were> just... <laughs> All right. So yeah. So what are you? I am an INFJ. Okay, so can I be LOV? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, you're okay. talking about people's personalities, right? Like yes. who's introvert and who's extrovert, right? So, is there any theory behind that? Because I have totally no so, idea until now. Theory. It yes. is a theory. It, it came up by um Catherine Cook Briggs and her daughter Isabel Brig Myers. Mm-hmm. They came up with this MBTI system, and mm. yeah, there are four categories, like I said, and yeah, like Philip is. Doesn't really believe in it. Swear doesn't understand it. June and I are like we're in it, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. But I agree with that. MBTI is like uh, how can I say big deal now, especially among young people. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Who are also into zodiac signs like you? <laughs> okay, you were the one that came to my house like three times uh-huh. asking me tarot card readings. Because I was in trouble. <laughs> You did. Oh, wow. Don't you dare make fun. Next yeah. time, I'm charging you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, Philip, okay. So, yes, yep. I heard yeah. that there are like yeah. four categories of something like. So, Philly. Yeah. Uh, can you break it out a little bit? To uh, your best knowledge. Yes. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not really into it, but. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we um, know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> so, as far as I know, we have like a. You can break it down into sixteens uh, 16, from the four. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And then you have, uh, if you go with each letter, then mm. the uh, I stand for introvert. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. like uh, being alone. Mm-hmm. While the introverts, uh, the E stand for the intro. I'm sorry, extroverts. Yes. If you are outgoing and social person. Yes. Then uh, you have sensing, which is the S. Uh, who uh, it's for those people who focus on what's practical and. You know now, so why you have another one is intuitive. Mm-hmm. It's the end. Yes. So it's just for those folks who think about possibility and the futures like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And then you have the T for the thinking type. So who decide the with logic? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then the feeling types go with personal values. Mm-hmm. And then you have like the J uh, stand for like judging, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. When you have uh, that sort of personality, then you go with like plans, right? Mm-hmm. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you are uh, someone with a perceiving personality, then you are more likely to go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To have specific plans to do that. Got it. Yeah. Etc. Mm-hmm. So we got a lot to talk about, right? A lot. A lot. To, so yeah, some of us know our Meyer Briggs, some of us don't. So we are gonna find out, and we'll be right back, my friends. So speaking of Meyer Briggs um, type indicator, do you guys know what you are? Yes, I know. Okay. I am INFJ. <gasps> mm. Introverted, I'm intuitive, mm-hmm. feeling, and judging. We, we are yeah. empathetic but judging. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. So, what about you, there? I am also an INFJ. Yes. So, INFJ are actually one of the rarest type of personalities. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This makes a special. Yes, right. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> all right. <laughs> yeah. We agree with that. Okay, so 
Yeah. Do you, you what do you, do you want have to one? Yeah. Do you no? do you think you're an introvert? I don't know what I am. Maybe I'm an extrovert because okay. I'm not afraid to communicate like with other people. And you know me, I love being social, right? Mm. But you know what? Sometimes, mm. sometimes I just want to be alone when I'm okay. sick of everyone, tired of everything, right? <laughs> I don't want to talk to anyone when I'm feeling down. At the time, I think I might be an introvert, right? Yes, it depends on my mood, but I think. I need to make sure what I am. So what you're saying is you don't believe in the whole introvert extrovert thing. Like people change. That's what you're saying. Even though I don't believe it, mm -hmm. but I do respect people who believe in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the good things about that test is, like, if you have like what, what you got. INFJ. INFJ. Mm -hmm. But they also give you additional information like yeah, you know, half of your or maybe forty five percent of yours is extroversion. Yeah. Right yes. for the rest. Yeah. It's like a Four page report. Yeah, and then fifty five percent is introvert. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't believe that to be honest. But you know, in my opinion, okay. mm -hmm. I'm afraid to. Everyone can be everything. I think so. Like one's personality can change the way they live. Right, mm -hmm. Philly. I need you. The people <laughs> they communicate <laughs> with and the environment they live in. Yeah. But uh, I told you before. I do respect those who believe it. Right. Yeah. I do too. No, it's not about. Yeah. It's not about believing or not believing. Okay. It's about. <clears throat> it's about. Um. It's all about, you know, recognizing, yeah. recognizing, yeah. recognizing, okay. and um, checking up on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. 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 That is that's a part of it, but the system it says has you know uh, its flaws. Yeah. Yeah. There's many flaws like. You know, of do, course, of course, yeah. those four letters don't define you. Yeah, yes. kind of like yes. how your zodiac sign doesn't define you. Yeah, yeah. This don't look at me like that. <laughs> yeah. So, Jun, do you prefer like a big party of a cousin night in, or like do you have any funny story about an event that made you like feel? I already fish like out of water, so that feel like a fish out of water or completely at home. We want we want to hear about that. Do you have any mm. experience? Yeah, most of the time, yes, I have. Um, mm. the, the, I feel like I have a battery, you know, a battery yeah. life like a phone. Yes. Mm. So when I'm out of my social battery, I cannot meet any more people. Mm -hmm. And that happens from time to time. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also I have battery according to daily and I have battery monthly. That kind of stuff, you know, you know, yeah. like, do you feel me, Theo? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> It's like, as an introvert, we... You know, if we spend time with you, you mean um, a lot to us because oh, we yeah. are very careful with how we put our energy out there. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yep. Yes. So, yeah. what about you, Philly? Do you prefer a big party of a cousin night in? Oh, uh, definitely. You know, uh, just a cozy night in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like partying. I don't want to be in a crowd, and okay. I don't, you know, want to put myself in. Uh, I would say. Mm. Uh, I would call it noise pollution. Mm. Yes, we all yeah. know you just love to meditate alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So the next question we got for you guys is, um, if you need, a, if you like, if you're at a school, because I know you guys yeah. are from school, you yeah. need a place to concentrate. Do you go to the library or like, do you work better when you're around people, like in a cafeteria? Like, what do you think? Mm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, for me. Yeah. I like to go to the library okay. mm -hmm. because I like to walk in a you know in a peaceful and calm place. Mm. Uh, if that was me alone, and that's better, yes. me, okay. yeah. So uh, I kind of you know uh, lose my concentration. Uh, mm -hmm. The people, I I'm sorry to say that, but sometimes you know uh, is it a distraction? Uh -huh. to me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, all right, yes, now that yeah, we got introversion. You're an introvert. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yes, yes, now we got introversion, extroversion out of the way. So now I got a question for for a specific June. Mm -hmm. Regarding the nature of the well, how you sense thing like I mean, how your intuition skills are like when you go to a new place, maybe do you like using maps or just explore without a plan? Because some people love to run into an expert adventures, right? I just wonder what yeah, kind of person are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always use a map when I go somewhere because I don't mm -hmm. remember where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> even if I've been, yeah, even if I've been to this place before, I can't come straight mm -hmm. to this same place. 
Okay, the second time. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's because no, no, no. It's because it has to do with my personality. Okay. <laughs> it's because I remember things um, in regard uh, in regard to feelings. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. it's like I don't care about your looks. Okay, I don't care if you're ugly or handsome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the vibe, it's you the know. Vibe. It's yeah. the vibe. The energy that you give yes. off. Yes. Right. yes. Are you I'm guys? very intuitive. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, you guys. Take it's time for a break. Yep. Yes, we will be right back on Learning Hub DBDB program. So I have a question for you guys. Um, when making decisions, do you tend to go with your gut feeling or more like logical feelings or like you, you think like yes. up here? Mm. June, you want to start us off? Mm. Uh, probably 17% gut feeling. Oh. Oh. Yes. Uh, all right. What about you, Philip? Uh, I would go with logic because mm-hmm. I, you know, uh, prefer to collect data and facts. Mm-hmm. So I plan has everything before I make a decision. Mm-hmm. So I, of course, it depends on the type of decision that you're making, yeah, yeah, right? Uh, yes. If you make a big decision, then yes. it takes you a week or maybe a month to mm-hmm. decide it. So at the time, you have time to collect data. Yeah. As well. At the yes. time, you have to go with logic. But mm-hmm. like some you know, condition, you just go with your gut feeling, right? Yeah. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. So, Yeah, it depends. It yeah. depends. It depends. It depends. What about you? Do you tend to go with logic or like your <laughs> personal feeling? Um, since June and I are both INFJ, mm-hmm. I okay. also go with my gut feeling. Yeah. Oh. So that's why, like, if I if you met me and I'm like staying away from you, it means that I sense something off of you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I'm just like, mm, I don't want to. Like off of you. And we're always right. Yes. Most of the yes, time. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and like. Um, But of course, like there are times when you have to use logic. Like yeah, while you're reading contract and stuff, you can't be like, "Oh no, this mm-hmm. doesn't feel right." You know, like sometimes you have to read stuff. So. Like, I won't deny. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> All right, everyone, you are now listening to my radio's Lenny Hair Program. We will be right back shortly. So now we're going to talk about judging and receiving. Yes. You'll be surprised, but INFJs are very judgy. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Yes, um, you are. I am. <laughs> but you have to tell us what this means in so, MBTI personality theory. In MBTI theory, yes. judging slash perceiving is about how we prefer to deal with the outside world. So uh-huh. if you lean towards judging, you like things planned and organized. So you like having, having schedule. You're having a schedule, like a routine creature. Mm. But on the other hand, if you lean towards perceiving, you're more flexible and spontaneous. You mm. just kind of go with the flow. Yes. So which takes us to the question: Are you guys like someone who likes a well-organized plan, or someone who enjoys just kind of going with the flow? Flow. So, Mm. Do you want to share any stories? Yeah. Like, mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't have to go back to what I just said. Uh, it's about you know judging. Yeah. Judging. Yeah. So I prefer to go with uh, you know the facts. The facts. Yeah, I need a plan. I need everything to put into consideration. Yeah. To in order to do something. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I, I yeah I go with uh, you know well organized mm. and approved. Prepare for anything I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about yes. you, June? Yeah, most of the time, I I like to plan ahead. Plan ahead. Mm. Okay. Plan ahead. But sometimes, when I need to go with the flow, mm. uh, I can. But I cannot sometimes because it like, if I need to go with the flow, it I need to consider my social battery. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <So laughs> if if it's yeah. like if the battery is like eighty percent. Yeah, then yeah. I can go with the flow. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if yep. it's below fifty percent, that I cannot. Yep, I need a plan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. What about you? Zwei? I'm I'm a routine creature. I have to plan things. What about you? Okay, I'm not sure about that. Like sometimes having a schedule is like really good for me. Mm. Maybe it's really good for everyone. Or like writing down a plans of yep. things to be done and impl- implement like step by step is a good habit for everyone. I think it's really important for everyone. But sometimes, just sometimes having a schedule is like sort of stressful for me because mm-hmm. uh, I have to follow the plans, right? That's why I enjoy some days without a plan. Do you like plan without your, a schedule? Do you plan your dates? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys will be right back on MI Radio.
Am I radio yeah, learning how to sing go? Now that I send the app to buy. Can you have the game as we know? General Lungi ဒီအရာတော့ကိုရေပေါ်နော်ကိုယီကိုသွေးလို့ပြောတာပေါ့နော်မြန်မာလို့ဆိုရင်တော့ဘယ်လိုမျိုးအာလူမျိုးဖြ